Hello, my name is Maxim and today I want to talk about the paths in the game maker. Paths allow you to move object in certain pattern. So path is created like any other object is the game maker. There is the folder path. I'm clicking here right mouse of the button, clicking, choosing create and path. This is window which I've got. And this is kind of the same as the room. So it has the coordinates and so for example here is I can find the zero zero. So if I will, if I will start drawing from the zero zero it will be and I will show this inside of the room it will start moving from the zero. I can choose like let's start from the zero zero. I can click here this will be the first dot. Then I can click somewhere here, somewhere here and I'm kind of creating this path like that. So there is a the few important options which I can set up. This first is the smooth curve. And if I click, it, everything created like a bit more round. If I choose straight lines, it will be like straight lines. And another one is the closed. So once I click closed, automatically from the starting point to the final point, they connected. So let's choose the smooth and let's choose the closed. So here is our path. So I can, uh, of course, I would need to rename because path one is not the good name. So I will call something like, and call is enemy. Enemy. Now I need to create the object which will be use this path. So I'm going to create the object as usually, and I would call the same obg enemy and also I need the sprite to like because object need to be moved and without sprite it won't be visible so I'm going to click here to create the new sprite edit image and I'm going just to fill the image with the green color okay so now we have the sprite and now we have the object so how can I make object to move I'm going to add event and event type I would choose create because I want object to start moving after it's created. And there is the method which is called pass start. And it's required few arguments. So first argument is the pass name and I call it like th enemy. Next one is the speed. Let's choose something like five. This need to be in experimental way to define. So another uh, third argument, this is what happened when object completed the pass. So there is the multiple options. I can start over, go back in the opposite direction, continue or stop. So let's choose continue. So I will type here pass and I have action continue, action restart, reverse and stop. So let's choose reverse. Okay, and next, this is argument is called absolute and it's accept two values, zero or one. So if I will specify this zero, uh, movement will, will start from the position where, where object is located on the map. But if I will start set it to the one, object will start movement from the uh, position where we started like our pass coordinate on the map. So let's try both options. So I have zero. Uh, next, what I need to do is to put object. Then I'm going to put here somewhere in the middle of the room, right? Let's like here. And I'm going to start the game. And I think it's going to start in my browser. No. So here is the, our game. And as you see, our square is moving like from the beginning to the end and the opposite direction and it started the movement where it was placed. And now let's change here from the zero to one. So I set it to the one and let me start the game again. And as you see, object started like moving here from the zero position because when we created the room, we started it from the zero position. And it's like just spinning in, in that direction. So that's all what I wanted to show you today. Thank you for your attention. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day.